to achieve the result we want, we're going to use two different tools today. The first one is going to be the artificial intelligence model that we will use to create the, the geometry models. You will find in the description of the video a link to this website and you will probably see that this is a Chinese website. Don't be afraid. All of our current browsers have an option to translate websites to our language. Here we have it in English now and we can now see that Tencent Huanjian 3D model is available for us. In order to use it, we need to sign in using our email. You need to type in your email address and a verification code will be sent to you. Once you are you have signed into into the platform, you're going to see this site, this main page where we are going to work to create our models. Don't be overwhelmed. There's a lot of things, but we are going to use specific tools that we need. First thing you need to know is that up here you will find the number of remaining the of remaining generations you have today. You will have 20 every day, but right now I have 16 because I've already made some generations. Those 20 generations might be enough for all that you will need to do. Right now we are here at the AI creation tab. And you'll find here two options, two different options, which which are not translated. You will find out what they do. The Wenshin 3D, what will allow us is to create 3D geometry, 3D models using artificial intelligence, but using a text prompt, text to 3D. Here we will be able to establish all the characteristics of the model that we want to generate by typing it like a modern, oh, Wait, important here. It's very important that you type this in English. Try not to use other language because I've seen that other languages have problems when creating the generation or when you translate this to, to Chinese, you, all, you will probably also have problems. So I work this in English, a mother five story building with minimalistic design. And here we establish a prompt that you, if you made it more, much more detailed, well, the, 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 the artificial intelligence will, will have more tools to work with. So here we have the model that will be used, which is Tencent Hunjuan 3D version 2.5, which is the most advanced model at the moment. And we will be able to select here the amount of triangles that our geometry will have. This default, I believe, have 500k, but you can also select 50, 150, and 300k. Here, it will all depends on your models, on and on what you need. I suggest you you must you make some tests, but for now we'll leave it at default because we are just testing the platform, and we need to make sure that geometry plus texture is selected and the texture style is set to general motors. I'm not sure why why it is called that way, but this is the general style that we will be using, especially in this video, and we will create now our model. Let's start the generation once you press the button you will notice that it starts loading but it's very interesting that it gives us four different variations of our model Just look at here even though only one generation was consumed we have four different variations of that design here we see the expected time to finish but I've sometimes seen that it takes a little less. You can see the progress bar here in geometry. Once it finished, it will start loading the textures that will be applied to the previously created geometry. So let's let this load for a few minutes. You'll see the progress fast forward and let's continue until it's all done. And we're back here. We have our four generations completely done. Let's check them one by one. And you must keep in mind that even though this is a very good artificial intelligence model, it's possible that the creations you have when you are creating complex elements like this one with windows, with railings, with, with this type of 
I don't know why, what are these, these, these spheres that were created in here. I, mean, I probably use another of the variation, but we need to check each of them to decide which one we'll use. Is it pro? Is possible that this won't be useful for us? We can rotate it. We can also here check it as a wide model, check the albedo, and check this normal map that we have here. And we can also switch to the other variations. We click here on this cross icon to close it, and we can open the other variations. Here we have the second one. It looks quite decent, looks better than, than the previous one. It's possible that when looking at it from the front, should work. In the back looks a bit bad, but let's continue to the next one. No, I don't think so. It's a good geometry, but looks quite strange. Let's check the fourth one. And it looks very strange too. So now I think we're going to keep the second one, this one we have here. And once you have decided which one you want to download, you need to head to this button, this section where you can select the file format you will use. I'll leave it to GLV, I like that file format and hit the download button. So the model is downloaded to our computer downloaded successfully okay so let's close this now and let's check the other two which is tushin 3d it's much more interesting because it will allow us to create uh, models using a different type of prompt which is our images and for this i'm going to head to the google ai studio which is the other tool that we're using in this video which is the a free tool that google let us use to test their new artificial intelligence models because before deploying it to the public so here we can once you have entered here you can check the link in the description down below and you sign in using your google account you can go here to the generate media section and in here select the image where you will be able to generate images with a text prompt so you tap here your prompt click on run and start to generate that images with the settings we have here the generation model the aspect ratio depending on what you want to visualize in that image so i've previously made the small test that's already generated the text prompt is a residential five-story building, modern minimalistic style on a white background and isometric view. And this is the result, which is quite nice and will be useful for what we are doing. We will take it later to our geometry mo generation model. So important here, what I like here that it has a white background, so it's much easier for the other tool. And secondly, have an isometric view or a perspective view that allows the other artificial intelligence to see or have a view of the front and the side of the model. So it's much easier the generation and much more detailed. Let's copy here this prompt and I'll paste it here so you can see that something very interesting to keep in mind with Google AI Studio is that the image is created in a few seconds and almost every time you hit the run button you will have a completely different generation it will look completely different so important to keep in mind i'll make a screenshot for this i will make a screenshot for this other building too so they are stored in my computer and i can then upload it here in tencent which is the 3d which is the artificial intelligence that will allow us to create our geometry. In this case, we are going to select the institution that allows us to load pictures to our prompt to create our models. It can be either a single picture, which is what we will do now, or if you have many pictures, many views of your model, this will allow you to get a much more detailed and will try to decrease the hallucination of the artificial intelligence since it will have much more information in the prompt. But for now, since we're doing a test, let's just 
upload the single pictures that we have created using Google AI Studio. Let's select one of these screenshots that we have over here. It will take a few seconds to load. And down here we have the same options. The selection of the artificial intelligence model. We have the 2.5 version. The number of polygons or triangles that our model will have. And make sure that it's geometry plus textures and the texture style general motors just as before so now that we have all this set let's click on this button to start the generation and same thing will happen however you'll notice that when using a text uh, an image prompt you will only have one variation of your generation so let's let it load And we have it here, it's, it's done. Here we have our building that was created from our image prompt. It's a bit more detailed. And don't worry if you, when you look close to it, you, uh, you find some issues because our main goal with this is not to use them in the foreground of our shot, but in the background of our images, of our videos, inside of our apartments, uh, designs, or in a urbanistic scenes so it's not very important that they are completely free of error so we'll use later these models in a in a, in a rendering software for now let's download it and let's create a second or a new 3d model using the other image that we had here let's let it load for a few minutes and let's go back once it's done here we have it this is our third model that will be importing inside our scene we download it and if for some reason you close this window and you think you lost the degeneration you did don't worry you only need to go to the assets tab again and you'll find here the history of all the generations you have made if you click on any of them you will find these windows once again ready to download once we have all let's go let's head to twin motion and here we will import those models that we have previously generated here here it should be let's search for it here it is and you will notice that the scale is quite off so you will probably need to manually fix this to have the, the dimensions that that fits the reality will not take care of it right now but let's see that if we get closer to the model well it has some issues it's not perfect but the main goal of what we are doing is to create assets that we can put in the background of our scene looking here that it's view only from the window of our projects is only for the background so check here how it looks quite interesting and those small issues it had are not so visible since that building is a bit far away of our camera but it allows us to have a much more interesting view from here let's now import the other two buildings but it's some, that, that there's something that's quite important to keep in mind, especially when importing to entry in motion from FBX or GLB files, that when you import any of this file, the textures are being extracted to, to this texture folder that is automatically created. So every time you import it next to the file, a texture folder is created with the textures that will be used inside, in this case, to in motion. However, if I now import the second model, the texture will be also created inside this texture folder. However, the name will be the same and they will be overwritten. So to avoid this, a very simple thing you can do is to create a, a new folder where you will place each of these models. Let's set here a two, a three folder. Let's create a, another folder called one. And in here, I'll place the first model with the textures and now once we import any of this model a completely separately texture folder will be created so textures are not overwritten we also need to make sure that it 
keep both materials, the previous and the new one, since the previous building that we imported have the exact same name and we don't need that it overwrite all this information. We have now our second building here important and as you see the material is completely different and textures are different too. Let's now scale this a bit so we can use it and you can see all problems it had but once we take it far away you will notice that they are not so visible. And as we know that this is not the main focus of our view of our shot it's it's okay sometimes the outside will be overexposed or very bright or you can create some depth of field that will make that those buildings are not the main focus of our shots of our videos of our uh, experiences so check here how it looks completely different now that we have imported our buildings we can import the third building do the same Let's see how it loads, if there's any issue, let's search for it, here we have it, and it's the same, materials and textures are completely different, we need to scale this a bit, position it where we want it, and we can even start playing with how this building looks from the side and how it looks from the front. We can maybe rotate this element and now we can create a very interesting perspective from here using the same model. We can also rotate it. Let's, let's tilt it a bit. We can put it here. Let's, let's also move these other buildings in here and you can create some variations. You need to make sure that you scale these buildings to have real life scale. It will not take care of this right now but something that you need to keep in mind and you can deny that this looks very interesting very interesting for an, for a background uh, uh, you see now here that this building have some issues let's maybe mirror this building and as, as you see right now once I've mirrored the building it looks a bit better since on this side it is a problem on this side is not so noticeable we can delete the previous element and we can use the one that we have here and we'll create many buildings as many as we want we have 20 generation per day you can create many images in google ai studio and at the end the most important thing of our project is the interior not the exterior so it's looking very nice for a background items since Look here, if we don't have them, and it's our urban scene, well, it looks very strange, but if we are creating an environment in the city, it looks quite good.